Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Monday, April 5th. I am David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional, ancestral, and territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. Our worship this evening on the eve of uh, National Tartan Day is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 722. As we are coming into a time of worship, let us be still and know that we are surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 105, found on page 464. Psalm 105, page 464. We shall say verses 1 through 6 together. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his name. Let tell, the people tell the peoples people what, what things, things he has might done. O oh, let your songs be of him and praise him, and let your talking be of all his wondrous works. Rejoice in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember the marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham his servant, ye children of Jacob his chosen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of John, beginning in the 14th chapter at the first verse. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's, house, my father's house has many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after you have been among such, even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, "Show us the Father"? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me, who is doing His work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilicus Ante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, 
Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us pray and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. The collect for this the eve, uh, for Monday and Easter week. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace Thou dost put in our minds good desires, so by thy continual help me we bring forth the same into good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your prayers and petitions this night for the people and places that are upon your hearts, inviting you to name them aloud or to share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus as the third wave takes hold here in Canada and the fourth wave in the United States. For those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, those recovering at home, those with a long complicated recovery, and all who are awaiting test results and are self-isolating, indeed for all who are awaiting the vaccines, that God's healing hand may be upon them and keep them safe through this pandemic. And we pray for all who suffer this night, for those struggling with mental health issues, depression, anxiety, for all who are struggling with addictions, for those who are deep in grief, For all who are awaiting doctor's appointments and diagnoses. For all waiting for surgeries or recovering from them. For all undergoing treatments, procedures, and therapies. That God will direct their medical care uh, and, and bring them to healing and wholeness. We pray for those who lead in the governments of various levels, for those in the communities, the elected and the volunteers, for those in the province, praying for the Premier, the Cabinet, and Dr. Bonnie Henry and the staff uh, in the medical world. We pray for all who lead in the provinces and territories, and we pray for our Prime Minister and the Federal Cabinet for Dr. Tam and for those who lead uh, in the procurement, distribution, and ongoing studies of the vaccines and treatments to address this pandemic and all other ailments that afflict us in mind and body. And we pray for those who lead us as we care for the souls. Praying for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, and for all who lead in the parishes, both clergy and lay, praying that they all had a bit of a rest today after a busy week. And we pray for all who witness to the love of Christ and to the joy of the resurrection. We pray this night for all who are lonely, for those who struggle, especially this weekend, with missing family and friends, for those struggling with the requirements of the restrictions, for those struggling with the, the just the isolation. For those who are enjoying it and for uh, the opportunity for them not to feel guiltless for that or guilty of that there's a Freudian slip um, and then praying for all who are isolated because of their health for those with compromised immune systems for those undergoing treatments and procedures for those who are finding it difficult to maintain healthy, safe boundaries um, 
because others are taking this time a little lightly. For those who are in long-term care facilities and for their caregivers, and for the blessing of having more visitors come and see them and to be able to, to hug. For those who are isolated because of their living situations, Praying for those particularly in prison and for the isolation that that is, because it is, but also for the added stress of this time and the greater disconnection from family and friends and supports outside. So we pray for all who are finding it difficult to connect and to see people, praying that technology may bring them closer and that they and that all of us will reach out and connect with those around us. Let me pray for those who remain vulnerable, that we will think of them as we go out and as we head into the communities and into places, that we will do our utmost to keep them safe. With all these concerns and with those you've named, we pray. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us and those that have desired us unworthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the, sa uh, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this day, those grace moments where you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and the lives of those around you. I am thankful for a uh, quiet and productive day at the office and for a number of things I was able to tackle. And um, for breaks in the weather, uh, when I was out in a boot and able to enjoy all the beauty, uh, and especially the earlier sunrises um, and, and the blessings of that. Uh, um, and, and yes, and for uh, the grace of this day. So with your thanksgivings, I know the Dean is going to go on about leveling up in geocaching. Oh, he's shaking his head no, but he leveled up in geocaching today, so um, I'm not sure what that means, but the car seemed bigger for some reason. Let us pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank Thee for all Thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, keep, and preserve you this night, indeed, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray you have a most restful night. In the morning at 8 a.m., we gather uh, for morning prayer with Pastor Don out of St. Mark's Dawson Creek. At 12.15, the dean will be next door at the cathedral for midday prayer. And God willing, I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for another service of Compline. Until then, rest well. Nighty night. I'm a hopeful as an